Hi, I'm Fraser Lewis from the Fox Telescope Project. Today I'm going to show you how to use Salsa J to perform photometry. First of all, we need to open Salsa J. You can see that you get a menu bar, and on that menu bar are options such as File and Edit. To open a file, we go to File, and then click Open. I have a file on my desktop, which is entitled NGC 957. It's opened in this small window here. I can enlarge that window, but again all we can see is black. If I click on image and adjust and go to brightness, I can change the brightness of the stars. As I slide the maximum fader from right to left, you can see some stars become visible. Around about here, it looks like we see quite a lot of stars. This is an open cluster, so every dot that you see in there represents a star. The next thing we want to do is to take a plot profile to check the full width half maximum. We do this by drawing a line through a star and then selecting Analyze and Plot Profile. Here you can see another window has opened with the full width half maximum. We can take a reasonable guess at the size of this full width half maximum if we put a cursor here and measure the value on the X which is 507 and on the other wing would be here at 513. So that tells us that an aperture or full width to half maximum of 6 is about right for this particular star. What we need to do is be a bit more sure about the aperture and the way to do that is to take a series of measurements and decide at which point the aperture is most appropriate. If I go to analyze and I can go to photometry settings another window opens up here I can change the aperture or the radius. I select the little radio button which is 4 star and I'll select a value of 6. When I now go to my star field you can see when I go to photometry first and then I go to my star field you can see a circle of radius 6 on that star and there are some values recorded in this box to the top left. If I change the aperture to 8 I can take another measurement and I can do this again with an aperture of 10 and again with an aperture of 12. This box here starts to give me the data that I want and can use so it tells me that I've recorded the same star four times with X coordinate 510 and a Y coordinate of 361. Each time the intensity value has changed and in fact because the radius is getting bigger the intensity appears to be getting brighter. Of course the star isn't changing it's simply that we're collecting more light. You can see on the right hand side the star's radius of 6, 8, 10 and 12. These are the values that we can use in Excel to plot the uh, the profile of the star. If I show you another image of a star which is taken in a different filter you should see that it looks a little bit different. Again we can change the maximum and minimum values to bring out the star pattern. But when we place the two side by side, you can see that many stars look very different in one image to the other. Again, this isn't because the stars are brightening, this is simply because they were taken at different times and in different filters. Now is the time for you to have a go at this yourself and try and measure the stars from the files also downloaded in this module.